Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 98 of Let's FIFA 13 and we got a bunch of games in this episode and a lot of them were quite intense and went into extra time, quite a few of them, but yeah, we'll get on to that because the first thing I just quickly want to say is a little bit of a message to my Danish subscribers and I did post this out on my Facebook page a few days ago, but basically... Gudjon is coming to Denmark tomorrow, and on Saturday there is DM in FIFA, which basically is the Danish Championships in FIFA. And uh, thanks to EA Denmark, we've been able to kind of set up an event there, some, some sort of a meetup. So basically, uh, on what will be some sort of a main stage, you'll be able to, two of you guys will be able to kind of play us. And if you beat me and Gudjon, you'll win some sort of a prize EA Denmark got in mind. And uh, we'll also be able to just uh, hang out, play some FIFA, and have a bit of fun. So if anyone of my Danish subscribers, going uh, feel free to like uh, hit me up on Twitter or something like that and we we'll probably be able to meet it doing that but onto the gameplay here I ended up trailing 2-0 and I'll get it back into the game here in the second half to make it a 2-2 and after that I created a bunch of chances but his keeper would just save the shots I had in on goal there and we get another chance a few minutes later and over the top ball to find Pastore but we shoot it just wide of the goal and instead he gets a goal there in the 89th minute to make it 3-2 and it's never fun to concede a late goal and I don't know what happened there I was kind of spamming trying to pass it away end up passing it to his striker and he actually get a second goal there in the dying minutes of the game and I tried to, to get a chance here from kickoff but nothing would happen and I end up losing the game and yeah never fun to lose a game on a 90th minute goal but that's how it is sometimes and um we headed on into the goal cover once again, going with our other squad, the 4-2-2 side. Uh, and uh, we come up against a 3-5-1-2 Serie A side. And yeah, a lot of chances going back and forth in this game. I get the first one here with Bale going into the box. And how this is a penalty... I do simply not know, but we'll take it, and Samuel Leto, he will make it 1-0 there, and uh, we continue on, it's to wrapped on the ball, and uh, we'll get it out to Santi Casola, we try out the shot there, but it is saved by his keeper, and that was a relatively easy save for his keeper, but even though in this game his keeper just saved every single thing here. Here we try the shot, we actually hit McGeady and it is offside, but keep on creating the chances to wrap breaking through. Once again, it is saved and into the second half, it's a bail breaking through. We go a little bit of a fake shot to get onto the left foot and again, it is saved. Should have gotten a little bit closer to the goal and we get another chance here. Bail on the ball, outside foot shot again is saved and then instead in the air, around the 80th minute, he gets a goal, it hits the post the back of my keeper and we end up going into extra time and once again I try to to get the goals here Samuel Eto'o breaking through first time stop and turn we try out the shot and yeah just the save but then in the 114th minute we find Sandy Casola who rush out his keeper and I get quite lucky there to get a goal win the game 2 to 1 and yeah, that was a quite intense game. My opponent did also have quite a few chances. So I guess him getting the goal was deserved. I was just kind of frustrated. His keeper saving all my shots. But we go into the next game and I'll end up trailing in the ninth minute. He tried a shot. He picks it up again and he makes it 1-0. But uh, we are back on the ball. We get a little bit lucky here. We try out a shot, but it is straight on the keeper. And a few minutes later, once again, to wrapped on the ball. And he is a really, really good player in this team. We abuse the scoop turns a little bit, but it will give us a goal to get it back into the game and make it 1-1 and another chance there but is saved by his keeper. 30th minute and nice little play here we find Magidi 2 to wrapped and he'll break through into the box and he'll go past the defender, finish it into the far corner and we do make it 2-1. So we into the lead and we keep on creating those chances to wrap here trying out a shot but it goes just wide and instead in the start of the second half I'm stupid enough to rush out my keeper, shouldn't have done that, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's, a, it's becoming a bad habit for me to rush out my keeper, I should, like, just make him go back again, but I get my lock in the in extra time here to make it 3 to a quite lucky goal, but a few minutes later, to wrap here with a nice little skill run, make his way into the box, unlucky not to get the goal to start off with, but Ito is there to pick it up and uh, and make it 4-2, and to wrap there with a hat-trick in the game, and we move on through into the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup, and uh, yeah, we go uh, back to our other squad, the the side with Messi and Ibrahimovic, and we come up against a 3-5-2 side there with a lot of pace, and I get my first goal off a corner, Messi finding Ibrahimovic, and uh, in the 28th minute, another 
like set piece kind of thing we get a goal off uh, and that was pretty much where I created my chances in this game because he was so very difficult to break down with that 3-5-2 squad uh, luckily I didn't concede any goals he, he did have quite a few chances but I managed to, to keep a clean sheet and get the two goals uh, off the corner and the free kick but apart from that couldn't really create any skill chances but we were in to the final of the gold cup and this was going to be the most intense game of all the five games I played um, we start off in the 11th minute it's Ibrahimovic on the ball here and we manage to go past the defender here we take the shot but it goes wide off the goal and instead it's him going with a fake shot and he picks up a penalty here not something I was happy about and he steps up I was actually trying to dive to the side I don't know if anyone else experienced it like you try to dive but the keeper doesn't do it but nonetheless he would get the goal and he had probably scored anyways because I think my keeper would have died a little bit too far to the left but nonetheless straight from the kickoff we get a goal back it is a messy there and to get it for us but just uh, before half time he will get a goal to make it 2-1 and it was in the second half a lot of the chances were happening we get a goal there once again it's Messi showing up to make it 2-2 there and Messi on the ball here a few minutes later and I actually thought I was going to get a penalty there and pretty much straight on the counter attack there he gets onto the ball I will not do a good job defending there and he will find a completely open Hulk and he makes it a 3-2 and then a 68 8th minute Ibrahimovic here bring through with a few skill moves here we make our way into the box we try out this shot but it goes out for a corner and from that Ibrahimovic uh, we find him with a Messi to make it a 3-3 free free. and uh, yeah pretty much straight after that we find Ibrahimovic once again another goal we make it 4-3 one minute later he chips my keeper it is a 4-4 so many goals and pretty much straight for my kickoff I break through in the other end with Ibrahimovic here a few skill moves we take the shot and uh, on the rebound it is Pastore to head it in and uh, two minutes later Ibrahimovic finding Messi we get quite lucky to hang on to the ball but we'll put it into the back of the net and within 10 minutes I believe uh, four or five goals were scored basically so very very intense game and I ended up out getting out on top of six to four and that will be the end of the episode guys I hope you did enjoy it uh, the next episode will either be out tomorrow or Friday not too sure about that yet but I will see how it goes and that's all thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.